everyone. Today we have with us gynecologist Dr. Cecil Kanura. She is the director of Marigold Women's Hospital and has 27 years of practice behind her. It's a pleasure to have you, Doc. It's a pleasure to be here, Raksha, to be able to talk about things that we should be talking about. So here's it for you guys. Today, she's not going to talk to the girls. She's talking to the parents. Me, being a parent of two girls, 24 and 28, I think we Indians think that our daughters and sons cannot be sexually active before marriage. And here we are trying to tell you that what doctor deals with when adults come to her without parents having a clue. So our entire conversation today will be, tell us what are the issues you deal most with where you would you wished that Kash parents would have come. So uh, we'll start with women come to you, coming to you, girls coming to you with infection, vaginal infection, STDs. So we see a lot of young girls who come to us for complaints like vaginal infections. And we always feel that Indian parents live with their blinders on. Sometimes they know, but they don't want to know about their own children. <laughs> so uh, they come to us after being treated by their friends' prescriptions or by looking at the internet because they are a little scared and embarrassed to, ex you know, mm. to accept that they have been sexually active. But if you know somehow their infection is not cured or they are into a little bit more trouble than they could manage on their own they come to us that is when we realize that they have been sexually active for a longer time they have uh, these kind of vaginal infections and uh, sex or sometimes sexually transmitted diseases and uh, that is when we feel that if the parents if the mothers or uh, you know some older uh, mm. people in the girl's family were a little open about it maybe she could have confided in them mm. and she could have come to us earlier mm. so tell me one thing doctor what are the typical problems that they these girls face because they've not been able to confide so one is you're saying that they just use their friends prescription. prescription so what are the complications that happen when it doesn't go through a registered practitioner who's qualified so, see what happens is we put vaginal infection in one category now mm. there are three to four kinds of vaginal infections. There are multitudes of sexually transmitted diseases, mm. the symptoms of which are overlapping most of the times. Oh. So when a girl takes a friend's prescription, she might be having an A disease mm. and this girl would be having a B disease. So she mm. goes through the whole prescription of antibiotics and antifungals and then we realize that that is not what she has. So she unnecessarily exposes her body mm. to medicines which should, she doesn't need to. But how do we crack this? How, how do Indian moms or moms all over the world, how do they give their daughters the confidence that if this happens, come to me? Any suggestion? I'm like, I know this. I think we make, uh, you know, we can't like go out to a young teenager. We can't tell their mother, they start telling them from 30 years mm -hmm. old that if you are sexually active, come to me. Mm -hmm. You know, generally family statistics and uh, situations don't work like that. But sometimes we make offhand judgmental comments about other people's daughters. Oh, there you go. And your daughter yes, picks it up. Picks it up. Oh then my if God. she's so critical about, about someone else doing it, I've had it. So there's no way I'm going to be able to share this. That's a fantastic her. point. So even when you're talking about somebody else's daughter, remember that your daughter is kind of thinking that this is what you're going to do. In fact, talk about someone else's daughter and convey an indirect message. Oh. So, you know, you don't have to tell her that, oh, be sexually active That's and when amazing. you be sexually active, come to me, but just See, kind of an offhand comment yeah. that wish, you know, oh, she would have told her mother. So, then you have conveyed that already. If I have something like that, maybe I can talk oh, to her. That is absolutely a very simple, very easy and very doable solution. Do Anything else in this particular, like what you would like to tell an Indian mom See, or a mom? See, another thing is going to a gynecologist should be comfortable. Very good. We are not embarrassed if you are at a dentist's place. Yeah. So, if you are at a gynec's place, you can have umpteen other yeah. ailments rather than just being sexually active. No, and why should you let other people judge you? I mean, yeah. I'm there with exactly. my daughter. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is what we need to change. Yeah. Going to a gynecologist with your mother, make it normal, you know, okay. kind of. Normalize going, normalize. To, yeah. normalize going to the gynecologist with your mother, even if you're sexually active. Yes. Yes. And, you know, if you have an older daughter, just take her to a gynecologist for her mm. vaccines and mm. in an offhand way, you can mm. request, we have mothers requesting us mm. 
without their daughters knowing that you know she is going abroad and you like you to give her a bit of education on that that may that works that works okay uh, case 2 on contraception so what is it that you would like to tell moms here so uh, see when a girl is sexually active without telling anyone then she is also equally clueless about contraception mm. in this day and age of internet Uh, they know that contraception should be used, but what contraception is best for them? What contraception is available? What contraception is safe? Is all something that they gain and read from the internet, yes, or their friends, as I said, or from magazines. That all this information is either half baked or faulty. So uh, we see so many girls using emergency contraceptive pill. Mm. You know, we see these ads in television, mm. phone pay. Are you could use a kya? Mm, right. I think these ads should be banned because they convey a wrong message. Uh, you know, pill is yes. Pill is ten contraceptive pills given together in one pill. Now, mm. if I remove ten contraceptive pills from a pack and give it to you, would you take it? No. But we see girls like I had a girl who used an ad every time she had intercourse. Because she thought rather than taking a hormone every day, because she was conditioned from childhood that hormones are bad, mm. like a typical mm. Indian attitude yes. that we should be taking hormones. Mm. So she used contraceptive pill, mm. and such high dose of hormones taking mm. uh, many times in a month, mm. she stopped having her menstruations in three to six months, and. you know to put things back on straight i had to give her a dose of hormone pill for at least a year before her periods got back to normal oh my god so it completely messed completely. up her system yes yes but we see so many girls like who come to us and say that we use a contraception if you read on the internet it is an emergency contraceptive mm. so i tell the girls forget the word contraceptive remember the word emergency, emergency. what is an emergency a sexual intercourse is not an emergency <laughs> a sexual intercourse where a condom ruptures or where there is forced intercourse or a yeah, rape yeah. that is an emergency so use that contraception only when there is emergency so how do we tell the moms like how do we tell the moms here that listen once your daughter is 18 19 take her to the gynec like how do you have any suggestion on that uh see sometimes it is little embarrassing for mothers to tell their daughters that let's go to a gynec and mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so if you want to be sexually active mm-hmm. i would just say like a simple thing like mm-hmm. make it a routine mm-hmm. like moms also don't come to us very regularly for pap smears and sonographies mm-hmm. so i would recommend moms to start doing that mm-hmm. and on that visit get your daughter that she is 18 and do you think she needs any gynecological vaccination or advice or simple you can just tell your daughter that let's go see a gynec for menstrual hygiene mm. for other gynec hygiene you know and then if they are embarrassed to talk about it we can talk about it with them or we can put up cross that we are there and when we talk about this to her in front of her mother okay. it's kind of mother's well, consent yes, yes so that way we is oh that's actually a fantastic idea that they you know the mothers get their daughters and then you bring in the topic, topic. that uh, do you want to also know about contraception yeah. yeah so it's better to be safe than sorry, sorry. and yes. safe in a right way yes and who other than mothers would have the best interest of the daughters at heart oh that is super and now we come to the third point the pregnancy scare yes. would you like to speak about that and how often does that happen in your experience it of uh, happens more often than parents would like to know <laughs> and uh, we get pregnancy scares that are actually not pregnant girls who have irregular periods who are sexually active who are not using contraception or who are not very sure that they are using the right contraception so sometimes they miss their period and they come with so much of panic that i need an i think i need an abortion my pregnancy test is negative mm. we do an ultrasound and we find out that her periods are just late yeah. but it takes a lot for us to convince her you know because then she's scared what if the pregnancy you know mm. grows and mm. it will be too late and you have to convince her that she's not pregnant so these are the pregnancy scares so but almost always what yeah. we see is that either the girl comes alone or she comes with her friend mm. or sometimes with her boyfriend mm. never see or we hardly ever see a girl coming with a Mother. So the mother or a guardian is never really taken into consideration. Never, never. Confidence. In fact, that is the dreaded word. So, if at all, 
you know, mm. when we test the girl and we find that she's pregnant, mm. all hell breaks loose, kind mm. of, you know, mm. that, ma'am, what will I do when I need an abortion? And when we mention the word mother, mm. it's never accepted. That, that is something that mm. they, we feel that, they feel that we are blackmailing them, mm. them you know, mm. when we mention the word mother. Mm. I have always convinced the daughter, see, it's legal in India for a woman who's yes. an adult to ask for an abortion. abortion absolutely. But, See, when we practice as a gynecologist, law is not the only part we look at. Mm. I'm legally in my boundaries yes. if I do it. Yes. But socially, you want as a mother, mother yeah. as a woman, I wouldn't want that to mm. happen to my child. Mm. So we generally counsel them a lot. Mm. We tell them that we do it only if you get your mother. Because like either the pill or the abortion process has its own complications. Even there is after abortion care. Yes. If there is an if abortion there is, Like if I give the abortion pill. Mm. The girl can have bleeding for 7 mm. to 10 days. Mm. We explain to them that the bleeding can be very heavy sometimes. Mm. And you need an emergency surgical procedure mm. to end this. Mm. Now, so if they haven't shared it, mm. what happens? They will not tell in the middle of the night if they are having heavy bleeding. We have had like patients who have collapsed nearly unconscious because of the bleeding. But because they haven't shared their pregnancy, they haven't mm. shared the pill, they will not be able to share the complication. So we have to make sure that people in the family know and believe me Raksha every time that I have convinced them mm. you know sometimes it has taken three sessions mm. they come back to the boyfriend ma'am mm. I'm very mm. serious about her but we can't tell the mm. parents you must understand this mm. and that and when we convince them almost always 100% the mother is supportive wow some mothers are angry mm. she should have used protection some mothers are irritated some mothers are shocked but they are there, they are there. They are there with her at the time of abortion they are there with her during follow-up, they tell us that please explain to them about contraception. And every time the girl and the boyfriend would come and thank me. Thank you for convincing us to tell our mother. It was a big support. So here, I mean for the girls here, whether your mom is angry or she's irritated or she's annoyed, she is going to be supportive and the aftercare, which is very important, is going to be there. Uh, for the moms, I mean, accept, accept that the world is changing, that your daughter is sexually active and be a friend so that she doesn't take steps or measures which land her in trouble or her body, makes her body unsafe or infection prone. So, um, the fourth, now an absolute abortion case. So, what happens, can you talk about that, uh, that fourth scenario? See, so when... A girl has a pregnancy like I had a girl who missed her periods who had mm. irregular periods and she wished that she wasn't pregnant mm. she didn't tell her mother mm. and we found out when she was almost 10 to 11 weeks pregnant so we again as I said we had to con I had to convince her to get her mother because it would be a mm. surgical procedure we had mm. would have to give her anesthesia mm. she would have to be in the hospital for a couple of hours mm. so we had to do this mm. and uh, initially the mother was angry not like, you know, she didn't know what to do. She says, we'll have to think and come back. But they eventually, mm. they understood mm. the situation. Yes, yeah. the girl's hemoglobin was very low. It was, uh, she used to have heavy periods and all that. But we did, uh, you know, did mm. the abortion thing surgically with the anesthesia. So we mm. tried to give her a room mm. a little away from mm. others because... No yeah. matter whether we like it or not, they don't want everyone else to know. No, so we true. try to mm. give them privacy, mm. try to not make it sound mm. such a big crime kind of thing. And uh, patients take it well. And they then come to us to understand contraception because they don't want to make the same mistake again. And they are very open to it. And they are very thankful also that their mothers were there with them. Because once it's done, even the boyfriend, you know, sometimes the boyfriend also accompany mm. you know, sitting in one corner, the mother is not smiling <laughs> at him. You see all these kind of scenario, uh, but he's there. He's he, there. He, Which is brave, also he's yeah, supportive. He's yeah, looking yeah, at all true. these uh, bad glances, mm. but he's mm. still there. Mm. And they tell us that it was very nice that mm. the mom was there because I was scared if I would have had to take all this responsibility of signing for an anesthesia, mm. what if something goes mm. wrong, you know. And so I would like to tell the girls out there mm. that your mother's are not as old-fashioned as you think they are. <laughs> there you go. And have faith. Right? Have faith. And tell have faith, them. Yeah. Have, faith, have yeah. faith. And don't buy these abortion pills over the counter. Mm. We see a lot of girls buying abortion pills over the counter. Because that way they are safe. They don't have to tell anyone. Mm. It is illegal, but in India it is available. Mm. And uh, 
sometimes you know we had a girl who took this abortion pill mm. without telling anyone you know just mm. some mm. friend had recommended she walked mm. into a shady medical mm. store who gave her the pill mm. she did not have an ultrasound which was a must for giving an abortion pill so this was a u- uh, tubal pregnancy. pregnancy and the tubal pregnancy ruptured and they brought to her to us almost unconscious because she had a lot of blood in her abdomen and it took so much for us to explain to the parents that it's a pregnancy because they were blissfully unaware that she was sexually active so then how is it possible and then that pregnancy something we couldn't demonstrate because it was already ruptured so we had to do a blood test kind of to convince the beta hcg that yes she is pregnant and also don't do these it will it, it can cost you your life. life it can cost you your life so what i understand is if there is a pregnancy then uh, before taking the abortion pill the gynecologist has to make sure that it's not a tube pregnancy which yes. you can't do and there is no awareness of this there's no awareness yeah we have had even married women do this like you know yes. take the pill without yeah. telling anyone and we have a ruptured ectopic on our hand mm-hmm. we also need to know the uh, you know how far gone the pregnancy is because yes. the pill doesn't work beyond and if you take a pill when the pregnancy is little far mm. gone yeah. then you have very severe heavy bleeding and an emergency situation sometime so any last lines that you would like to uh, leave our audience with the girls and the mothers so i would like you know change the sentence and say that mothers are a girl's best friend <laughs> not diamonds so <laughs> i oh, think that's, that's for the youngsters beautiful. it would work yes so your mother is your best friend not not diamonds and uh, for the mother what would you like to say to uh see for the mothers i would like to say that be as modern in your approach with your daughter as you are with your hair your clothes <laughs> and other things because we have a lot of modern mothers very true who are very modern in all other aspects yes. but this they don't want to accept that this is the modern world yes. so be as modern as you are everywhere else be as modern as a mother with your daughter thank you so much doctor i think that was an absolutely informative and very interesting session thank you so much actually um, it was a pleasure to be here like you know if we can impact the lives of a few mothers and absolutely. daughters it would be great. actually a lot of information that you share i didn't know i mean oh my god it's just fantastic thank, thank you, you so, so much, much.